Hello again, children and parents. Um, we hope you are well. Uh, I'm back in the youth room at Canterbury Baptist Church, um, ready to do another lesson with you um, about who Jesus is and what he did for us and who he still is today. And today we're looking at the very serious um, topic of why Jesus died. And just as importantly, who he died for. But before we do that, we need to get a little bit of prep done. And what I'm going to ask you to do is I want you to find things which make up who you are. So that might be clothing, it might be your favourite football, it might be your favourite football shirt. I'm into football, so that's where it comes from. It might be some makeup, it might be a DVD you really like. Um, I want you to find personal items that mean a lot to you and represent um, your personality. Uh, and I want to find, find about six or seven of those things around your house. Uh, and you've got 30 seconds to go and find as many of those things as possible. Now what I want you to do is I want you to go and grab them, bring them all into the room where you're watching this video and leave them in a pile. So you've got 30 seconds to do that. Off you go. Five, four, three, two, one. Are you back in the room and I hope you've got all your items in a nice pile in front of you. Don't worry about them just for now. And we'll get to it. Here's some of the things I've got for my pile. Um, a pair of sunglasses. Um, you see, I, I don't do very well in the sun, so they're an important part of me. Uh, when it's sunny outside, I like to wear my sunglasses, especially red and garish ones. Um, so that's that's one of the things that make up who I who I am in creation. Uh, coaster with West Ham on it. I'm a big West Ham supporter, as some of you know. Um, part of who I am, uh, being a West Ham fan. Um, for, for better and for worse um, and I absolutely love coffee so I brought a coffee mug um, because I drink a lot of coffee I don't know what you drink a lot of maybe you drink a lot of tea juice fruit shoots I don't know um, but these are just a few of the things uh, from my example um, that make up me and I'll, I'll show you why they're important uh, in a little bit but we're going to turn to our Bible readings now there's two Bible verses and I'm going to actually read from two different books um, two different Bibles uh, this morning, uh, I'm going to start at a famous verse, and you might know it, and I wonder if you do know it. It's John 3.16, and we're actually going to read 17 as well. So John 3.16 says this, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. You see, Jesus wasn't just sent here um, to write a report back to God, his father, to say, nah, it's no good. But he came to live among us, um, to live as a fully human man, as well as a fully godly man, um, to be sinless in order to die on the cross for us so that death could be defeated and we could have heaven um, and eternity with God um, through justice and through grace uh, and it's amazing that he did that and he did it because he loves us so why did Jesus die well one of the main reasons he died is because he loves us and he wanted us to be able to be saved because we read later on in Romans 3 23 to 26 it says for everyone has sinned that's me and that's you that's your mummy and daddy that's everyone we all fall, sh fall short of God's glorious standard. Yet God freely and graciously declares that we are righteous. He did this through Christ Jesus when he freed us from the penalty for our sins. For God presented Jesus as the sacrifice for sin. People are made right with God when they believe that Jesus sacrificed his life, shedding his blood. The sacrifice shows that God was being fair when he held back and did not punish those who sinned in times past. You see, Jesus had to die on the cross because we are all sinners, because we all fall short of being worthy of heaven and eternity. But because of something called grace, Jesus carried all of those sins and all those parts of us that weren't worthy, weren't good enough. 
he carried all of those onto the cross and died as a sinless and holy one so that we could live for eternity uh, and bask in his glory and worship him forevermore. So Jesus died for that reason and he did that for us. So when he was on that cross, he wasn't there for himself. And one of the most important things to remember is that if you were the only person to ever exist, he loved you so much that he would have still done that for you. He still did that just for me. Because he so loved us, that God so loved us that he was willing to give up his only son so that we could choose to have this eternity with him. And to do that, we have to choose to follow Jesus. Now, remember those items I got you to bring over earlier? So my coffee cup, my coaster, my sunglasses. I want you to now arrange those. And I will show you what I mean in just one second. So what I've done, and what I'd like you to do is to think of those things and other areas. So I've also got a squash racket. I love to play squash. My car keys, my laptop, calendar with Toby on it. All these things make up me. I'm able to be me uh, and to have this life and to have this grace because Jesus died on the cross for me. So I'd like to take out of your items and take a photo just to remind you that Jesus died on the cross for you so that you could have life and live it to the full. He died on the cross because he loved you that much and he would have done it if you were the only person to exist. We are all sinners, we all fall short of the glory of God. But because of the cross we can live knowing that we can have eternity and you just have to choose to follow God. And that is why Jesus died for you. Um, and it's really important. So we're going to pray. Um, we're going to think and consider that. Um, and yeah, I hope you pray this prayer as well. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, Jesus, Son, Holy Spirit, thank you so much for the gift of the cross. Thank you that you loved us so much that you gave up your only son so that we can live and have eternal life. Thank you that although we were all sinners and all fall short of your glory, that we can live for eternity because of what Jesus did on that cross, because of grace. And Lord, I pray today that anyone listening to this, watching this, um, who believes that will, will come to you now and ask, and ask to live for you and to repent and say thank you, Lord, for dying on that cross for me. Lord, hear our prayer. Amen. Thank you. Thank you for taking part. I would love to see some of your pictures, um, if you're willing to send them in to me, um, of your crosses made up of, of items that represent you. Um, these aren't sins, of course. He hung there for our sins, but he hung there for you, and that's what it represents, and I think that's really important. Have a great week. Enjoy the start of your summer holidays. Uh, and remember that you've got a God who loves you so much. Uh, and you've got a church family here that love you so much as well. Um, hopefully you can join us uh, with Michelle uh, in our phone call um, this week, uh, this afternoon, uh, where we discuss many of these things and all of us just catch up. But other than that, take care. God bless and we'll see you soon. Bye.